My name is uh, Elliot Ambrosio. I am a junior at the SUNY Purchase Film Conservatory in Purchase, New York. My interest in filmmaking began um, when I went back to school at Hudson Valley Community College. I took digital media and in that curriculum I was able to take a class called video art and it was there where um, in the class we had to uh, create short films. It was there that I discovered that I had a, uh, a little bit of a passion for it. There's something about creating stories and playing God and being able to create. Uh, there's something about that really uh, pulled me into film. I've, I've been hooked on it ever since. Uh, that was, I went back in 2012, so it's been a couple of years now, about four years. When I went to uh, SUNY Purchase, they taught me a lot about how film is, uh, you have to plan a lot, but also it's a collaboration. You need a gaffer, you need a DP, an assistant director, lighting, you, you name it, you need a crew. If you're a director, you need to direct. You can't be focusing on anything else besides that or else I think it will ultimately affect the film. My favorite part of the filmmaking process, it's either gotta be when you're on set and you're in this area that you're, you're not used to being around. Like I helped on a, a set where we were on this boat in uh, Connecticut and it was beautiful like you know you're on the, the ocean basically and there's something about being able to get out into the world and seeing things you wouldn't normally see I think that's one of the best parts of uh, being a filmmaker another thing I think is being able to create and play God basically you know make characters and give them um, goals and you kind of see them go through these obstacles and then at the end of the day you realize you know when you when you see it on the film or the screen that oh i created that i did that and uh, that's really rewarding the demon inside is the story of a guy who suffers from psychosis he has a selective memory and at the beginning of the film it's revealed that through a flashback that he found his girlfriend dead from a gunshot wound in, in their bathroom. Towards the end of the film, it is revealed that he is actually the one that killed her. Throughout the film, there's the, at night, there's this thing that comes after him and he doesn't know what it is. It's coming for him and it wants him. So he's living in a, a, an abandoned hayloft. At night, he barricades himself to shut out this thing that's coming for him. So it's revealed though, this thing, it, it breaks into the hayloft and it's actually, it's him. He's seeing himself coming after him, and that's, I think that's representing um, the truth coming out, and it's trying to tell him, like, this is what really happened, and this monster ghost thing puts his hand on my protagonist's face, and, and then that's when he, he sees that he's the killer. He's the one that killed uh, his girlfriend. In my head, the shot and the demon inside where um, it's a two shot, my actor's on the right, and then the, the monster comes up on the left. I pictured that in my head, and I, I was like, if I do anything, you know, if there's anything that's gonna go in the, into this film, I have to get that shot in there. And I made sure I did it, and to me it turned out pretty well. I mean, it, it was almost just exactly how I pictured it. That was really rewarding to see that. It's like, oh my God, I, I saw that in here, and now I'm actually seeing it. It's just really cool. It's just a really cool thing. Next horror film, I'm gonna step up in terms of uh, prosthetics and blood. Hopefully I can get a budget because that's, that's so far I think I, I haven't, I've been lacking with that is, is actual like money <laughs> to do, uh, do things. I, I feel like I, I'm gonna make at least one film for every genre throughout my life. I love horror though, that's gonna be like the main focus. I love comedies though too. Bogged was kind of like a uh, creative outlet because I was getting so bored with making all these horror films. I figured, okay, how about, why not do something funny? Change it up. My classmates agreed, <laughs> like, yeah, you do horror a lot. Why don't you try something a little, you know, different. Horror, dramas, comedies, action films, the sky's the limit. <laughs>